Hey, it's February 3rd. It's my first day of February back in the office focused on trying to make this film happen, really going after it. February is the make or break month. Focus this month is really funding and casting. And to get there, I'm, I have a calendar that I've, I've already went through. This is a year calendar. I've printed out um, casting begins. And if you could see here, it, casting and funding, it goes on up through the end of, of this month. And once we get to that point that we have the funding in order, we have the casting in order, then March 1st right here, you can see that pre-production begins. That's, that's the goal. And so really it's kind of like, okay, if, if this film's going to be, this is the month it has to happen. I need to know what funds we actually need, worst case scenario, and then hopefully we get something above that. So I'm literally making, writing down just real quick notes on a little index card of, of the things that I have to get done to make this happen. I've already made notes that I've pulled up out of my journal just to sketch different things for more marketing stuff, office space, um, casting plan, just different things I try to do with, with getting casting ready. And so that's where I'm at right now, I'm going to brainstorm. I have kind of a rough draft of a casting casting flyer that's here. I'm getting ready to, to finalize. I have my um, computer up and running. So I have a website that I'm trying to, to lock in with those with the very specific characters for casting that we're looking for. Have have the script that I'm going going through. I'm going to be picking out sides for the specific actors that we're going after and figure out what, what exactly we need and then start hammering out from there. Okay, just spent a little bit of time quickly brainstorming what needs to happen this month and so far. I have, of course I need to, today I'm launching the casting stuff so I still have to finish up all those assets, get them posted to social media and then start the, the distribution of that information. I'm gonna contact all the native radio stations, gonna start reaching out to, of course, through social media, through other individuals, acting sites online, um, and just any other thoughts and ideas that come to mind. I'm gonna to try to reach out to at least all the Arizona and New Mexico tribes, and then and then as many other tribes throughout the country as we can, and hopefully people will just start spreading and spreading it. So I'm trying to devote my day to doing that, just Here's the social stuff that's social online way to, to audition. It's available, it's on our website, and then just start blasting it out to ev everywhere as much as possible to give as many an people an opportunity as, as I can. Big things for February is I have to have the worst case scenario budget in place. I have to have that lined up. Before I can do that budget, I have to have the script breakdown. And so that that's something that I should, I will do maybe tomorrow or this this week is to break it down and see what locations we actually need, how many days in those locations, and I can go through with the script and, and finalize a lot of that stuff. And then to, in order for that, once I know, okay, I have this many locations, I've gotta go out and find the locations, go and scout those locations. Um, I've got to get those sort of locked in or get the deals, the agreements, the things that we agree upon, those lake locations where we want to film. I've got to have, have all that in order. Um, not those actual contracts signed yet, but to know I'm going, I can get this location. It's for a hundred bucks for two days or it's a hundred bucks. Plus I have to clean the carpets after we're done or whatever those deals are just so it's a win-win for both parties. Um, I've got to figure out props, what kind of special props we're going to need created. I know there's different things we're going to need beadwork done on. Art department needs production design. Are these locations already furnished? Can we walk into a senior center and actually shoot one that's real, that's right there, and then it's just a little bit of artwork? Or are we going to do what I've had in my mind of doing is this office space that I just got rid of on Saturday that I no longer have access to. 
renegotiate with the owner, see if I could rent it for a month or whatever, and go in and create this, this new office space to look like a senior center, which may be a more viable or, or a cheaper, but still have a good look option. And maybe it's, it's more work than actually getting the location and paying a little bit more for the location because there's not how many days of pre-production with production design and all that stuff that needs to go in to create that location and look like one that we have access to. So that's, that's the stuff that I have to line that up to get a real down and dirty worst case scenario budget. I have to have that right away because then I know I have an exact number or a close number minimum that I have to hit by the end of February to pull the trigger where we go into pre-production and start going full speed up. Team players start coming on and we start making this happen. So 20, what, 26 days, 26 days to, to get worst case scenario funds and everything else starting to, to line up. You have to, We have to have a lot of the movie in place, at least some of the actors, because then we have to get some of those deals to see if they're interested and what, what those are gonna, so you see how there's lots of variables that are so interwoven, you can't just take one and make it happen. All these different things have to go on together to get to that point where, okay, we can make a film. I'll keep you updated. Well, it's noon now. I have the casting call flyer. That's finished. I have the website. I have an actors tab on the website that's just finished with a few links that needs just to get the word out and let people start submitting. Um, we're doing online submissions to start with. I'm not worried about actual in on location auditions now because that takes a lot of time and work and money setting those up and then going to those locations. To me, it's mentally draining being there and seeing so many people come in. I mean, you could see over the course of a day, you could see 150, 200 people. So that's why there's a lot of time the casting director will come in and we'll do all that and we'll narrow it down to the 10 or five people for the, the director producers. You know, those are decision makers to, to make it happen. But so just we're just focused on the um, email submissions, um, digital submissions, which can go out to all over the, the US and Canada and the country. And, and we can start getting those in and start making those decisions um, with now. So right now I'm going through getting the sides for the audition for the the parts of the script that I want the actors to read through and then to submit and basically, you know, printed out the script. Um, and I'm going through, I made a list of the actors we're, we're auditioning, you know, or, or looking to find. Not all of them, because some of the parts I might have, like there's, uh, you know, the lady for Jessica, that's the age range of, um, you know, 30 to, to 45-ish. And that same female age range type could be probably, we have, I think maybe three or four parts that that person, but I'm not gonna put all those other parts in there. I'm just gonna keep it at Jessica. And then I think I have, I pulled off uh, a store clerk and then a Heidi, which is Diami's girlfriend later in the film. And so with those I can, I can see and you can read and then you can start, you know, later on we can send email back sites, you know, the people that we've narrowed it down to to have auditions specifically for these other characters. So just trying to help stream streamline stuff. What you want to do when you're going through your script and looking for the sides that the, the actors are going to audition to is you want to try to pick, like with Daisy, I have three scenes that, I've, that I'm looking at. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm probably narrow it down to two. But you want to get a little diversity, a diversity of what that character's arc is. So something when she's kind of happy and pleasant another one when maybe she's more stressed and more serious to try to get the care the, to see an actor's range when they audition and then to a concern when you have the script that you're putting out there and that's why i'm just putting out sides because the sides for these characters will be on my website and will be available to the world and so you've got to be a little concerned like how much of the the story are you giving away or not giving away in the film sometimes you just want to have them just do the do those parts. So I'll go through with a Sharpie and color out those, those other parts of scenes that I don't want them to focus or know about. Um, so you've got to be, you've got to be careful on what you share or don't share. Um, same times you want to try to give people enough material that it's not too long because you don't want those five, 10 minute submissions back in, but you don't want to give them just a, a word or two. You want to give them a little bit 
you know, some little more meat of letting them get into that character and, and such. And sometimes I'm kind of limited with what I give them. Um, that I sometimes at the beginning of the scene, it's not, it's on the previous page. I don't worry about that. I just worry on this because sometimes you want an actor, even though they maybe don't understand that character fully, you want them to make a decision. This is how I see this character and in their own minds, create their own backstory and not have the description in the scene for them and wondering, at, but just let them figure out by the three or four lines of dialogue that are there and how they want to play it. Good actors can kind of make a decision what and go with it, even though that may be the wrong choice to the director, but the director and the producer and such can see that actor's believable, even though they went a different route. And so then it's just the easy correction. Okay, well, it's actually, this is more of the background of the story. And then see that actor be able to switch over and create that new character more along the lines now that they have more information specifically with the story. But in these early steps and ways of audition, that's not as important. It's, it's me wanting to see if those characters, see if the actors are believable and then what their range is. So those are the two main things that I look for is, is are they believable? Am I really feeling that what they're saying is true? Are they really becoming this person? Are they this, this character? And then what is their range? And so with these submissions, specifically, I'm having people to do submit two very different auditions of the same the same scene. So give me one, however you want to play it, and then give me one that's like the opposite of that and play it that way. Because um, sometimes you can get it where a person thinks they're playing two different parts and they're playing exactly the same, that nothing has changed. And then that's a good sign to me, like, okay, there's not much range acting range to that person, that person is what we're going to get. Or if you see someone play it this way, very believable, you feel what they're doing, then they do it completely opposite. So very funny. And then the next one, they're crying or holding back the emotion because it's such, you know, such a traumatic experience. And you see in the, both of those reads of the same script are believable. Then you know there's something magical with that actor. And that's where we start to, to gravitate towards that. So I do, I like, I like actors coming in, already have made a decision or two with the characters, letting them run with it. And then in the physical auditions, then I'll throw out some questions. I'll have them try something different. And not so much that I disagree or agree with what they're doing. I just want to give them some different pressure and see if they can respond and if they can respond and if it can change. And so I'm still learning as a director, obviously I have a lot to learn. So lots, lots to do, but that's where I'm, my focus is right now is getting these sides ready. I'll print them out. I'll sharpie them. And then, and then I'll start, I'm going to photocopy, you know, I'll, I'll digitize those. I'm going to put those into the website under each character. We'll have a link. This is the script. These are the sides that you need to do to audition. And then we have the steps listed of how they can audition. And after that, I might have one or two other things to do, and then I'm going to release it. Social media, get that a post out there and then start going after the radios and, and the more traditional outlets is how we'll go to get the word out. So by the end of the day, that's my goal is to have casting pushed out the door, ready to go. And then it's just waiting for people to start coming back with auditions and start moving from there. So, so far it's, it's going well. It's definitely taking time and work. I'm back in my favorite new program in design, still very slow, but getting a little quicker at it, but it's saving me money because I'm not having to pay a real person <laughs> that knows what they're doing to do. It's, it's a fake person, me that's working on it. So there's a quick update. Well, 6 p.m. and I think mentally my mind just stopped working. We did launch it on social social media. Um, got on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Got our casting flyer sent out. Now I'm trying to get some stuff ready for tomorrow so we can start approaching radio stations and other media outlets. So we have a press release that we that I finished today, and also trying to get a one pager kind of a media kit ready to go for so that I can send that with the press release to the different media outlets just with more information about who we are and some of the films that we've made and some of that for most of the people that have no idea some of the movies that we've made or or anything about us so I thought it would give us give a little one page data sheet that I can get out to the people so feeling um rather discouraged actually um this is that that month that where they're going to make it or i'm gonna have to get serious about going and earning a living somewhere else freelancing or back to <clears throat> trying to do whatever i can to to get work to provide for my family so 
literally four weeks down, time to hit the ground running, really push hard, maybe harder than I ever have before to, to make this work. Because at the end of February, if it's not, if the funding's not there, even our worst case scenario, then this project is gonna have to be pushed back even more um, until some of that money comes in. I'll have a lot of, most of the, a lot of stuff done, ready to go, but actually start hiring people and, and making stuff happen. Um, won't have any of that available if, if we don't get something something soon. So I am feeling feeling the pressure, the stress, kind of doubting myself in ways of like, is this is this what I should be doing now or not? And just some of those silly conversations that I have in my head that I was hoping was over and I could just focus on the work and what what needs to happen next. Long day, but made progress getting. I see social media stuff for the casting flyer and audition stuff. That's getting shared pretty well. It's still pretty slow. It's not like it's hit thousands and even hundreds of shares yet. And then we'll just kind of watch emails and start seeing when people start submitting and sending that in. So um, ups and downs. This is definitely more on the downhill, down slope side of, of it. And hopefully we'll, hopefully I'll get back and hit the ground running in the morning and kind of back up to pointing, climbing, climbing up. Cause right now I'm spent mostly emotionally and mentally. Um, Cause I haven't really done too much physically other than sit here at the computer and try to figure out these programs. Keep going. What's the next step? Follow the journey.